being said, Mod, you know what to do? Um, I want you guys to interact with this if you do have anime knowledge. Otherwise, you can sit here and just say, what is this dude talking about? That's fine. Uh, tap the follow and the bell button if you haven't already. So, man, I love Dragon Ball Z because it was the first anime I ever watched. But Naruto is one of the greatest animes I ever watched. It's number three on my list. It goes Death Note, Attack on Titan, and then Naruto. But I see a lot of people talking about Naruto could do this and Goku could do that. Dude, they're in two different leagues, but let's just say that for this discussion, just for this discussion, for the, for this discussion, we're going to say Goku and Naruto have the same power system. They're in the same universe. I don't feel like Naruto would stand a single chance because the worst thing that he ever did was have a planet level destruction jutsu. But Goku has universal level destruction, meaning that he can destroy a whole universe. He's he's being able to rival himself with people like Beerus, the um, the god of destruction. So if he's able to rival opponents like that, and you have Naruto dealing with people like um, Madara, who is able to you know block out the moon, or do do the uh, the ultimate Sukiyomi uh, situation where he can control a whole planet of people by putting them in a genjutsu okay that's great but that's only a planet level feat versus goku who's going against people that can destroy universes with the snap of a finger with the blink of an eye so with that being said in a situation where we have naruto um going for the win and we have goku going for the win i just don't see a way that naruto could pull through um now i'm gonna just be honest with you guys I'm going with Goku on this one. I don't know who you guys are going with, but from what I just explained, if you say anything but Goku, you're tripping. But now we're going to talk about an alternate scenario where I could see Goku losing. One thing that we know about Goku is he always wants to test his abilities. Uh, he's always wants to test his abilities. So by doing that, he lets his opponents do the worst things possible to him before he even gets, before he really even gets mad. Um... And I think that's Goku's weakness because Vegeta, Vegeta, he's gonna get to the he's gonna get to the point. He's gonna get to the point. He just wants to get you out of here. But Goku, he'll wait. He'll play the waiting game. He'll let you smack him around. He'll do all this. And this is why I feel like he would lose to Sasuke. Because if you have a Uchiha that can put you into a Genjutsu, what if Goku was so reluctant to the situation that he didn't even know he was in a Genjutsu? And before he was able to break out of it. What would stop Sasuke from rushing him and, and just ending him? If you don't know you're in a Genjutsu, how can you break out of it? If Goku doesn't, and if you guys don't know what a Genjutsu is, it's basically when you're put into an optical illusion where there's a scenario going on now that you're not actually in, but your brain is encapsulated in it. So now you think you're, you think you're in this and you think you're going against this opponent, that opponent, and doing all this, when in reality you're standing still, but he has your mind in a whole other universe. So if Goku's fighting off a, a bunch of other people in an alternate universe and he's not moving and Sasuke charged him and hit him with a Chidori or decided to use a blade, whatever he wanted to do, how would that, how would Goku be able to stop that? Do you guys think that Goku would be caught up in the Genjutsu or do you think that he would realize? And it depends on what Goku we're talking about. If we're talking about Ultra Instinct Goku, that is a whole nother conversation that I'm not getting into. Because even then, I don't think that uh, Sasuke could touch Goku. But we're talking about just default, no power up, no Super Saiyan, just regular form Goku. Goku would feel it because of Kai. Okay, but what do you mean he would feel it because of Kai? Like, how would he be able to sense that he was in that? It's an optical, it's in a whole illusion where it encapsulates your mind, not your body. So how would he feel it? Because if you say that, how did Naruto, um, how did, um, how did Sasuke not detect that he was in a Genjutsu whenever he was um, battling against Itachi? Because wouldn't you say that he would be able to feel the chakra being used in that too? He, did, he wasn't able to detect it. So how would he sense it? I'm not saying that you're not right, but I'm just like curious how Goku would be able to feel it. If other people that were victims, Goku can sense energy. Yeah, but so can other people in Naruto. They can sense energy. They can sense chakra build up, but they still get they still become victims of uh, the Genjutsus. 
So like, how would he? How would he? How do you think? Do you think that he would detect it while it was happening, or would it happen shortly after it happened? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Cause it depends on which one you pick. Because depending on which statement you want to go with, or which choice you want to go with, which approach you want to go with the situation from, it would explain a lot more, and I'll be able to tell you whether I think that he would win or lose. I think that the Uchiha stand a chance against a Saiyan like Goku. A Saiyan that doesn't sit there and allow the magic tricks and for you to do your best move, he doesn't stand a chance against. But like if we're talking about like Trunks, uh, Vegeta, he doesn't Broly, he doesn't stand a chance against any of them. But I feel like the only way that Goku could lose to someone way weaker than him is by his own I wouldn't I wouldn't say pride, but his own ignorance of situations sometimes. Lisa with 10 roses. Thank you, Lisa with finger heart. Thank you, Lisa. Just making it rain on me today. Making it rain. Making it rain. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this has been an interesting conversation, man. I'm going to I'm gonna do some more research on this, and I'm going to keep coming back to these topics. I like talking about more than just game. I'm going to talk to you guys about shows. I'm going to talk to you about all types of things, man. That's, that's one great thing about our content. It's not just revolving around one thing. It's mainly giving people value, but I like to have fun, too, so... I think that Goku would solo Naruto easily, um, but I think that battling against Uchiha's would be a lot more of a challenge for him. Whether Goku loses or not, it depends on which Goku we're talking about, but you can have a great debate really with any of those. And with that being said, man, I hope you guys live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. Peace. I'll be back later on.